Okay, so here's our product shot. It's a uh, it's a case from an Ellen Chrome Quadra, and there are some things I can do to fix the the fact that the white seamless doesn't make it to the edge of the paper. Of course, you can crop some of it, right? You could crop it down. You can't crop it enough. Whoops, let's get back up. Here we go. You're not gonna be able to crop it enough to get rid of all of this, but we can get rid of some of it. So the most obvious thing. Oh, that's a bad crop. Hold on, <laughs> that was just a bad, bad crop. Let's try maybe this. That's better. Okay. Uh, some things you could do are just use um, Content Aware Fill right over here. And let's just uh, bring up the Content Aware Fill dialog box. Uh, hit return. Give it a second. And that did pretty well. Let's try this side. All right. And try that. That works pretty well. Now, by the way, if you don't like the way that works, another trick you can try is this one make a rectangular selection. Go to free transform, hold the shift key, and then just pull this over. What? Yeah, no, that actually worked better than the other one. But here's the thing that the, the image is still a little dirty, like the background's still a little dirty, and that's kind of the essence of what this trick is. So, first off, let's go ahead and use uh, click on the magic wand and click select subject so it actually selects the the case and let's press command J on Mac or control J on Windows so we have just the case up on its own layer now here comes the trick add a new layer fill it with solid white and then you're going to change the blend mode to soft light or overlay probably soft light in this case and look what that does how it cleans up the background and if you decide yeah it did clean up the background but my shadows aren't as you know beefy as they used to be click the layer mask icon Go get your brush tool with a black as your foreground color, and then you can paint in the darker shadows, and it just paints them right back in. So if you wanted to get that more aggressive shadow, there you go. And now you just flatten the image and sharpen it to death. Okay, now let's go look at the, let's revert this so you see where we started. So it's just a quick little, quick little cleanup trick right there. So, and oh yeah, and, we, and I got rid of this. There's a sticker on there that I put on there. Let's get rid of that sticker using either content or we add content or fill. There you go. All right, there you have it. And by the way, if you want to pick up this Quadra kit, it's over on eBay. See you next time.